21. Yeah. So what would be the benefits of a republic? Oh, that's close. Minus 10. I guess I'd need to to get these if I wanted to. 26. Oh, please. Oh, let's see. Oligarchic. So you are ultimate Joey. Well, actually it says, uh, for me it says three viewers and I've seen four, uh, but you are indeed the, at least the second person actually saying hello in chat. Oh, that's good to know. Um, I take pride in my audio being half decent. <laughs> that was should be when I spent almost, well, probably well over a uh, hundred bucks from my microphone. Then I think I should at least be able to demand it to be half decent. Anyway, speaking of uh, oligarchic republics, Tax, stability cost modifier, that's nice. Monthly autonomy change is also very nice. We'd get a crappy ruler first uh, to start off. But yeah. Let's see. Can we find some. There we go. Tuscany. Elections are held every four years. Re elections cost 10 Republican tradition. Yeah. Not half bad. I could pull that into a dictatorship with a like four four six ruler. That is very nice. Three oh three. My air is two one one. So any ruler from in from an election would be better. And it also removes the possibility of uh, regencies altogether, which is very nice. Because I hate being in a regency because I'm, yeah. I hate waiting in this game. I need to do something. So, an oligarchic uh, uh, republics can still marry. Which is very nice. So, I think I'm gonna let them break me, if that's what it takes. I don't know if I can accept their demands. Uh, at least not while I'm in the war, so I'm gonna have to wait. But hopefully... Minus eight, so we're getting, we're getting there. I guess I could take Azov or Montrega. Or both of them. But it's Kaffa I want. For some reason. Maybe it's because I have a mission for it, but... If I do not look at the mission and ignore that for now, what would be a good idea to take here? Five base tax. Total of five base tax. Also, I'd get the unrest thing. The unrest thing? Yeah, talk about reading things and just speaking. I'd get the sunny potential of Sunni uh, things so that I uh, Sunni rebels so that I can uh, convert to Sunni lack of support from Genoa all right uh, anything else Circassian I accept Circassian right yeah I do I will definitely accept Crimean once that hits. This is Greek. Greek is, on the other hand, my culture group. 
So there's that. Anything else? Trading post. Important center of trade. That's something to think about. And also, well, let's see. We're winning this war then also. So I want to get out of this soon. At least before uh, Ferrara makes peace. Zero. How close are we? I could get both. Should I go for that? I probably should. Like I said, I'd get the... I get the opportunity to probably convert to Sunni at will. I get the I get two territories. I'd uh, there's no way I'm getting Kaffa and Azov because that's forty three percent. We're way off. So it's either Kaffa that will give me twenty five admin power and nothing else. Well, it's a nice trade province, but hey. Compared to the rest of it, it's it's not that much. Well, it's 51 freaking trade power. And this node. That would be... Oh my god. That is a lot. Oh, hey, uh, Clausism. No, it's the same run. I just... Uh, uh, I've been playing like... Playing like uh, an hour or so, an hour and a half since you last uh, saw this, so hasn't really happened a lot. I've been um, busy with school, so I haven't had time streaming. Uh, anyway, yeah, Ultimate Joey. Uh, I'm thinking grabbing those two before the war actually ends. So let's see, let's do this. Even though Kaffa had extremely high trade power. Well, on the other hand, the trade value in this node is negligible. So let's ignore that and go for these two. No money, that's exactly what we can get. We have cur currently have one, <laughs> that's good. That is excellent. There we go, and yeah, that actually gave me cleansing on heresy on Genoa. Yeah, of course it did. Uh, let's see. What I do wonder is that now that I've Ferrara, Genoa. Oh, cannot enforce truce. Sorry, cannot enforce peace while I have a truce. That makes sense. Let's see now. Uh, revolutionaries. They will never negotiate, sadly. So, I guess. Uh, well, Kaffa is uh, orthodox. Uh, Montrega that I took was orthodox and Azov is uh, Sunni so like I said oh, sadly this is uh, Crimean Patriots return to the native land of Golden Horde that's the worst thing I've ever heard what if I do this still Golden Horde oh uh, well let's do that then this is Circassian nationalists. Um, let's do that then. Yeah. What should I core? Should I core them? Should I sell this to Crimea just to get rid of it? Yeah, I know about rebels. 
Uh, I accepted them. I want them to break me so that I get uh, to be a republic instead of a kingdom. So, yeah. I'll actually... I hope that Crimea actually stays. Oh, please, Crimea, do not fight them. This might actually ruin my idea. Oh well, if it does, it does. Not much to do about it. Uh, maybe if I pull Crimea into some other conflict, they'd forget about my rebels. So Muscovy would join now. So would Genoa, Bohemia and Poland. Yeah, Golden Horde though. Now there's... There is a target, the Golden Horde. They're already fighting. Let's see, the Golden Horde has 11,000 troops. That's nothing. Now, if I attack these guys, the Golden Horde will join. Muscovy won't, won't though, so that's kind of crappy. Yeah, exactly, I want Sunni rebels, because then I can accept their de demands and convert to Sunni. And if I am Sunni, I can ally the Ottomans, uh, I can ally Karakuyunlu, and I can use them to wreak havoc upon Europe. Uh, right now I am Orthodox, that means I can ally Muscovy, use them, and... Thing is, I could go either way, but I feel the Ottomans are the stronger card, uh, generally speaking. So, yeah. We'll see. Also, Crimea is sunny. So, when I integrate them, I'm gonna have one hell of a bucket of uh, problems if I'm not sunny. Sunny. Uh, but, yeah. This is uh, not good. I don't like the Ottomans. So what can I do? Nagai. No, Moscow wouldn't join. Kazan. They wouldn't join. They would join against Lith Lithuania. Lithuania has Poland and Bohemia. Poland. Bohemia. Bohemia is part of the empire, so I can't attack them. Moldavia. They're a marsh. Denmark. Ally to Muscovy. Teutonic Order? Wouldn't get Muscovy. So I guess my only two possible targets to get Muscovy to join are the Golden Horde and Lithuania. Yeah, but... Uh, that is when a player is not involved. Uh, let's see. I guess there is something to be said about being Christian as well, because you could ally France, Spain, uh, Austria, Sweden. But at the moment, I'm thinking, Sweeney, you can always, considering the amount of uh, Christian, uh, oh, well, Catholic in this case, territory I'm gonna uh, occupy, take uh, switching back to Catholicism uh, might not be a bad idea uh, converting to Sunni will like I said it will make it possible to ally the Ottomans and it will give me the Holy War CV against all of Europe uh, now I well, I do. Uh, I already have the cleansing of heresy CV, so that's not. That's just a small point. The major point is that the Ottomans will be a much powerful, much much more po powerful ally than Muscovy. Also, Muscovy has allies in Europe. Try to eat Wallachia and wait till Moldavia goes independent. That is, if Moldavia does go independent. I haven't 
seen that happen, but if you say so, uh, I can definitely see it happening. Well, Aki actually likes me. Can I? No. There's no possible way to to get them. This is a problem, though. Celestria. Ah. Uh, Muscovy, Georgia. The Ottomans. The Ottomans. Why? Why are you... God damn it. Yeah, they usually have... Well, not anymore, I'd say. Moldavia tend to stay stay a stay vassal since they're a march now and they can't be easily integrated. Poland needs to make the decision to remove, revoke the march uh, thing and that gives them a stability hit and I have a I have this uh, feeling that the AI tend to avoid stability hits as much as possible I'd never, I've never seen an ally sorry, uh, I've never seen the AI break uh, a marriage. They always let them run their course. And I've never seen an ally break off an alliance during war. Anything that costs them stability, they avoid like the plague. Uh, let's see. God damn it, Muscovy. Why are you defensive? This was, would be so much easier if I could just go for the Golden Horde. So I'm going to have to look at Lithuania. Now, Poland, Bohemia. Let's look at this. Let's count. Let's uh, let's do the math. Lithuania, 31,000. Poland, 20. That's 51,000. Bohemia. B for Bohemia. 50 plus 16. That's 66,000. Uh... 6 to 6. And Muscovy has how much? 25. Muscovy's crap. 25 plus 10 is 35. So yeah. Muscovy is not much good right now. The Ottomans though. Oh, for Ottomans. 46,000. Now that's what you want. And they would be much more eager to help me expand as well, I think. Problem is they hate me. So yeah, I should probably just start integrating Crimea now. Let's do that. Let's actually do this as well. Oh wait. This is... Hmm. If I integrate Crimea, I could release Circassia. And I could use Circassia to get their cores back from Georgia. Georgia is allied to Muscovy though, so that's not going to happen. Unless I ally Ottomans. So many decisions. Well, at least I managed to expand some. Let's... Uh... Oh, and there's this. Damn you, Crimea. Just let me break to these revolutionaries. Please let me break. Dissolving the ammo. This would just call the Golden Horde. Plus allies. Oh, this is so much trouble. Well, I'm integrating them at least. How long will it take? Oh, please. That is not... Not gonna happen. Uh, let's see. I need... I need more Diplo reputation. Oh, yeah, I lost because my... Legitimacy... Is crap. Which is troublesome. Well, let's see what Crimea does. Oh, they actually stopped there. 
good. So they will hopefully let me break. I like that. I like that very much. So yeah. Maybe if Lithuania went to war. Sorry, uh, let's see, Golden Horde. I want to see if they're actually losing the troops. 13,000, no, yeah, really. Do you know, uh, still part of the empire though, so that's a problem. Moldavia, Moldavia. Lithuania, who are your allies? Genova, Bohemia, Poland. Sadly, your two allies, except for Poland, it's part of the empire. And yeah, attacking Poland would be even worse. Denmark, ally to Muscovy, that was the problem. That Muscovy won't really join me. Uh, that is um, Gazi Kumuk and Shervan. I'd uh, I'd love to attack them, but Muscovy won't join me because uh, distant war and defensive attitude. How long are these warnings going? Going can be here by the way. Fourteen seventy six. 77 annexing yeah 28 so let's I'm still uh, on the fence about Circassia if it's worth releasing them I don't know Austria being the new emperor, I am amazed. 9.2, 2020, so that's, that's safe. I just want to accept your demands. How hard can it be? My Republican tradition will probably very be very low though, but on the other hand my legitimate legitimacy is crap now, so Won't make much of a difference Hey, I can pick another rival right? Yeah, Georgia mm. Do not want to rival Georgia not right now Please how hard can it be just get over with that siege Hopefully, I'll be able to accept, accept demands when they have my capital. Uh, should probably get some one of these as well. Not making enough money though. And war with Kazakh. No, I need to wait for them to overthrow the government. 24 months. Oh well. 24 months. Oh, okay. Kazakh. Kazakh reconquest of low regime. Uh, Golden Horde. 16,000 manpower, 10,000 troops. War with Switzerland. Uh, right. At war with Austria. Now that is something. Austria. Let's see. Genoa is at war with Austria. Well, I have a truce with Genoa, so I can't really do anything about it right now, can I? Crap. 
This would be would have been a great opportunity to actually attack Genoa since uh, Austria cannot. They cannot join. Shouldn't be able to join at least. Switzerland would though. Oh well. We continue the waiting. The O oh, not so fun. Well. Now here's the thing. I'm hoping. <clears throat> sorry. I'm hoping to go through with this. There are a few things that can mess this up such as Crimea deciding it's a good idea to kill my rebels. So, should I succeed with it? It would be better to lose the 30 legitimacy than the 50 admin power, since I'm not gonna keep my legitimacy anyway. However, should this fail, I'd be stuck at 39 legitimacy. And that is not fun. Not fun at all. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. There we go. That actually halted my annexation, sadly. <laughs> because my diplo rep sank to minus one. But yeah. I guess I saw that coming, but I I was hoping that it would not be so. Still no statesman. What can you do? You can wait. Well, it's making progress at least. It's Itchy nose. Uh, 18 months. And then we'll be fine. So, should I do anything with my... Oh, you know what I should do. Since I'm going to integrate Crimea, I'm, I'm going to need some claims on Lithuania. Something like... Ungil. Well, not really, since I'm going to have the Holy War CV, but still. Might as well. Uh... Funny. Feels like a game is taunting me. Now, getting back that legitimacy might put me above the threshold for continuing integrating, so that might be a good idea. Also, I'm going to lose the Patriarch Authority as soon as I integrate Crimea anyway, so I'm going to do that. See that, actually, it did, so that's great. Feels like that actually worked out nice. Uh, Alright. You making progress? 15 months. Oh, look at this. Now this, this is, ooh, that's quite nice air, actually. Uh, Ooh, look at that. We can actually get a free temple. Now that is what I call business. Uh, so we lost our, our heir. And should I not be going for the Republic now? I could get stuck in a, uh, in a regency. Especially since my ruler is leading troops. Which I guess is a little bad idea. Uh... So that's what I want. Why I want to go for the Republic, just to get rid of all these annoyances with uh, regencies and legitimacy and whatever. Suddenly you get a get an heir with a weak claim, and you get bad leg legitimacy, and it's it takes forever to get it back up. It feels like Republican tradition is a bit more reliable, consistent. You know when you're about to lose it and when when you how you gain it. Kind of. Personal union on monarch death. Su succession war between Moscow and Lithuania. Let's hope we actually make this happen before our king dies. Uh, that would be <laughs> that would be even more terrible. Let's hope our current ruler survives for another 12 months. 
too far. Oh, God. Now that's... That put things in perspective. Oh my god. 255. With a strong claim. But if we die, we'd be in. No. <laughs> uh, thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the woman scorned. I'm going full on Republic now, even though the game is doing its best to. I could become a merchant Republic, but I think I'd need to get actual merchant ideas. Uh, merchant, yeah, trade and economic ideas. So. Probably not gonna happen. Also, Merchant Republics can't get uh, royal marriages, which makes it harder. Sh make, which makes it harder to get alliances. Oligarchic republics can. So, uh, war with Kazan. All right. Kazani conquest of Uzbek. So now there's actually happening things here. Golden Horde is at war with. Uh, we're in two wars. So this might be a good opportunity soon. The Ottomans, though, oh, they're at war with Karakuyunlu. Making good progress, though, so. Uh, 